What is going on guys, Jurassic Scuba here, and I'm back again with some gameplay this time. Um, I know it's been a while, it's been like three months since my last video, it's just been like doing university stuff and that, trying to find the right time and the right game, the right video to make for the channel, but for now I'm back, I'm going to be playing this for now, uh, Tyranny. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be making some Dishonored 2 videos. Um, so Tyranny is basically, it's the game made, the new one for Obsidian. For the makers of Pills of Eternity, so I'm wanting to try it out, put it on the channel, see how I do. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a full let's play or anything like that, uh, but I definitely want to at least try the game out and see if it's something I would think about keep playing on the channel. Regardless, even if I don't play on the channel, it will be a game I'm getting into anyway. And I don't want to waste a lot of time on the intro, so I'm just going to get right into it because people don't want to hear me blabbering too long. I want to see some gameplay. So we're going to go into a new game. Um, and I'm not the best at these games, I mean, I'm familiar with them. So I'm going to stick to just playing normal and just keep the settings as is. So let's get into it. I hope the game volume isn't too loud compared to my voice and vice versa. I hope it's a good balance. Um, I'll have a... I had a fidget about with it at the main menu. Um, but I don't know what it's like right now. I hope it's okay. See, I never actually finished Pillars of Eternity. Uh, I did play it for a few hours, but it's just... I never... I was playing so many games at the same time, I just never really sunk my teeth into it and got shooting in. I mean, I will For over 400 it, years, I'll let this talk. the armies of Kairos the Overlord have swept across the known world. All who stood against them fell before their might. Even the Archons, women and men of immense power, were forced to kneel, chained to the Overlord's will. Now Kairos's final conquest has come to our corner of the world. And two of the Overlord's armies compete for the honor of taking our lands. The elite disfavored, and the teeming horde of the Scarlet Chorus. The voices of Narat, Spymaster and Archon of Secrets, guides the fierce and undisciplined masses of the Scarlet Chorus. With each battle, the Scarlet Chorus grows stronger, as the defeated are given a simple choice. Serve or die. Grave and Ash, Archon of War and the Overlord's most loyal general, leads the disfavored. Though small in number, Kairos's ironclad legion has never met true defeat in open battle. Watching over the two generals is Tunan, the Adjudicator. Archon of Justice, eldest of Kairos's minions. Tunan brings Kairos's laws to newly conquered lands, aided by the Fate Binders, judges and executioners of the Overlord's laws. You were among the youngest of the court of Fate Binders when Kairos's armies came to our lands. How could we have known that the fate of thousands would rest in your hands? So, right, character creation. Um, I think what I'm going to do for my videos, I'm not going to make at least a few videos, um, because I want to. I don't want to waste too much of like the first let's play if it ever is a let's play um, on character creation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video in my character creation, and then there's this thing called conquest. I had a look at it, and I just see the features. And it's basically like answering questions in a pre-game setup. Uh, for your story, it's kind of like the starting state of your world. Uh, so, they will either be two separate videos or just one longer video. And then the actual gameplay of the game will be in the next video. So, if you don't want to sit through the character creation and the conquest mode, then you can just skip to the next video to see the start of the let's play. But if you want to see what we pick as a character, then you can stick around. Right, so I'm hoping this is a bit better, the volume. Uh, I messed a bit with it a bit, but the intro cutscene seems really, really loud compared to my voice. I don't know if that's just because it's a cutscene and that doesn't come under the same sound settings as the rest of the game, because I messed a bit with it in game and it just didn't seem to make much difference. Uh, but whatever day, hopefully it goes alright. Um, so, yep, let's get to it. So I'm going to keep the tall, slender build rather than like one of the stockier ones. And male and pale white, because uh, that's kind of 
the way I am. So go next and face. See, that's what I mean. Like it's like preset faces. Um, and we'll just take that one. Eh? Aye, 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 aye. Then portrait. Now uh, we'll make ourselves first, and then pick a portrait. So for hair, yeah, uh, that's not bad. Let me take that one. Aye, we'll take that one. Facial hair. Um, ho -ho. There you go. That's a Eastern beard, and all. But nah, we gotta go with this. For hair colour, um, we'll go with the brown. We'll go with the brown. For the voice, see ya. On the lookout. I see. I've made the voice really quiet. Can I get any options for here, though? Interesting. Hmm. But you know what? Two settings. Go whack in and change the, uh, the options. Right. I've got to really turn the music down. So music is really loud. And we'll turn the voice up a wee bit. Uh, effects. Uh, just keep that in now. I'll save that. New game again. Accept. And then I'll just skip the intro cutscene since we've already seen it. That's just what as best as it's gonna be. What's going on? Right. Here we go. Next. Boom. Boom. Why is that the one I took? Yep. And then we took a dark brown. That wasn't so hard. That's better. He must rest soon. See that? Trouble is afoot. Good work. I'll just hold on to this. Nah. That wasn't so hard. Quiet down. Nah. I'm injured, tired. See that? Trouble. Nah, we've got to go aggressive. We've got to be because you're evil in this game, I'm sure. You work for the evil guys, and he sounds quite aggressive. And like he's been through some. He's been through some shit. He's been through it. He's been through the ringer. So this is a guy. That's close-ish. Um. He was more Caucasian than he would be close. Uh, so his portraits are actually pretty cool then, so there. Um, well, the amount of people I've seen using that one on YouTube because I've watched stuff, the intro with people doing the conquest and stuff on YouTube and that seems to be the one that gets used. But I think for me, I've got to take this one. I don't even know if I'll use magic, but that's what we use. Right, so aggressive male. Oh, you get to put your tattoo. I see. Snakes on the leg. Are you really thin, actually, aren't you? Yeah. Nah, oh well. Let's give him a tree. Right. Um, we'll get bloody roots. Look at it. But. Alright, there we go. That's gotta be my. That's, that's him. That's, that's, that's him. Right, history, how did you join the army? Um, so you're a fate binder, agent of justice, but how did you become working for the bad guys? So you can be a pit fighter, hunter, guild apprentice, noble scion, soldier, lawbreaker, or major diplomat. Um, deeply proud of your dad, your people's like, you're too smart for Eh. I might actually go Guild Apprentice. Do you learn much from the mages, master writing, writing faster than the rest, and so learn to face some of your magical. I don't think I want to be a mage, but I would like to know some magic. Um, I might go Guild Apprentice. I've seen someone use Lawbreaker, I've seen someone use Pit Fighter, and I've seen someone use Noble Scion, but I don't think it affects your actual abilities, so I'm going to go for that. I think it affects your backstory, and I'd like to like imagine a guy as being a pretty intelligent guy. Um, so let's go for it. <laughs> that would be a good one. Unarmed attacks. But, yeah. You were trained in the following combat style. I thought this one seemed interesting. Javelin, because it's melee and ranged and like, the win. Uh, but I don't know. Hmm. Dual wielding, I'm no feeling in this one. Choose an ability. I'm honestly tempted to try unarmed attacks. Like, I'm honestly att tempted to do it. And just really work on being a dodging guy. I think 
think it might be quite interesting to do that. Hmm. And what does it do? Palm strikes, silence for 15 seconds, flurry of blows. Just gives you two attacks. 7 to 10 crushing damage. What to do with that? See, that's much better for even for damage, but I suppose you have t two times chance to hit moments versus parry. But that one seems much better, so I'm going to choose this ability. How would you accept it? Is that it? Accepted? Like. Oh, you don't drag it down, you just choose. I think. I see. Ah, and then secondary expertise. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we can go unarmed and. Atrophy spells. And that will be a touch of Afri Afrogy. Minus three might, that's pretty cool. Minus three vitality. I'm just hoping you don't need the staff to dailies, but I don't think you do. Uh, Titan's Touch. Oh, so this is like a boost. I actually might give myself Vigor spells. I think I'm gonna go for these. Yep, that's what we're doing. Right. Uh, so, next. Can't believe I gotta go unarmed. Um, character colours. Hmm. I usually go black and red, but for that reason, I think I'm not gonna do that. What about. Sort of grey and purple? Nah. The blue and nah, that seems not bad. The orange looks alright enough. But I'm gonna go with the deep blue. I'll do. And then a banner. I think there's a snake thing. That one's pretty cool. I've heard that, like, I know a lot of games advertise choices matter. But apparently, choices really matter in this one. Um, Depending on your obedience to your master and what side of the war you take with the two evil armies between the, I think it's the Dishonored and the Scarlet Chorus. Um, I don't know what we all do, so. What about a deep blue flag? You know, nah, that's nasty looking. What if this? Nah. No, 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 no. Hmm. Ah, I'll do. Right. Enter name. Ah, oh, fucking hate thinking of <laughs> names, man. Because uh, I like to make them quite authentic, but I don't know what the names are like in general in this universe. I mean, there's a guy called Voices of Narat. Um, what about... Oh... Dracus. Yeah, Dracus. It's like a pure mix up of drastic, <laughs> so it is like, no mix up, but I saw a twist on it. Dracus. Yeah. Should we give him a last name? Dracus Aquila. I think that's how you spell Aquila. Aquila is basically the Roman ego standard. That's what an Aquila is. We'll go with that. Sort of symbolises honour and courage. That's what we'll do. Points available. Look everything it suggests. Oh, right. Uh, we definitely want wits. Let's do that. Uh, quickness to. Well. Hmm. I do that. It's not like Baldur's Gate, but it's every two that counts. So, could do that. And you get your upgrades through the game anyway. Uh, and I don't see enemies at the start being too hard to hit in terms of armour and stuff, so maybe just go for might rather than the quickness right now. Uh, so maybe put them at 11. Health. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> this is what we're doing. Oh, he's got to be such a shit character, but fuck it. Um, definitely want lore. Um, lore is basically to do with the history and the world and intelligence and stuff like that. So I think it's related to your wits or 
training training vigor spells, so that's good for vigor spells as well. So I wit self and your base value, so dodge. Um I can get that up to thirty six. Athletics to thirty. Oh I or a combat shit. Right, get dodge Erlen. And Magic Staff. Hmm, I'm not too bothered about right now. So I don't think we're gonna need the buffs. I, I just don't imagine he's needing too many buffs early in the game. Uh, but I could be very, very, very wrong. Right, now we've got to do the conquest. So like I said, this has got to be a while and I still haven't decided in my head whether or not it's got to be a separate video or not. But I'll just cut it as I see it. But the gameplay will definitely be a separate video. So let's get this done. Up oh, next.